What's up, y'all? My name is Chris. I am here in Round Rock, Texas. I built an addition on my home that was a home theater and playroom and bunkhouse for my kids. And today I'm doing a well long overdue review of uh, some Polk audio speakers that I have put into a, a pretty expensive room. This room in this theater was definitely done on a budget. Um, people spend thousands and thousands of dollars on their speakers and on their uh, video equipment and we were able to do this uh, at a very low cost. I mean the room was not cheap of course to add but it did add value to our home and I want to show you these speakers because I think it's something that uh, many people would overlook and try to go for a, a higher brand or a higher model and, and pay a lot more money and this fills a 700 square foot room with plenty of sound. So today we're going to be talking about Polk Audio and uh, going to brag about them a little bit. Okay, first things first. This was the back of my house and we opened up this 650. It's, it's got stairs on it, so I'd say it's a tiered or a stadium um, theater room. And we added a, a third row in the back on a riser. So again, it's not completely done, but we decided to make it um, an inviting place, not only for us, with our friends, but for our kids. We wanted to have plenty of seating for everyone. We wanted to have tables and chairs for eating. And then of course, uh, wanted to be pretty minimalistic. I didn't have quite enough time to clean things up, but um, you can see we do have some LED lighting uh, that changes colors. Got a 145 inch screen. And we do have bunk houses that were built into the wall. So there's three beds. They all have their own plugs for phones and their own light. The bottom bunk actually even has its own TV and Xbox. So you can have multiple kids playing in the room. We do have uh, our small snack bar. And we'll get to uh, talking about these Polk Audio speakers. Before we start talking about the Polk Audio speakers, I want to show you the size and scale of this room. 600 plus square feet is a large space. We also have foundation on two different levels. When I hired somebody to come in and wire this home for 9.2 Atmos surround sound, I knew that it was gonna to be tough to find speakers that would fill this room. And I was even told the same thing. The beauty of this is I'm only running a 7.1 system right now. And with that 7.1, spending maybe less than 800 to $1,000 on all my speakers, probably well less than a thousand, I was able to achieve very good results. And I've had people come in completely impressed with the sound. And we're gonna talk about those speakers right now. All right, as you can see, I do have one powered sub, Polk Audio subwoofer. This is a $250 standard front firing subwoofer that you can buy at Crutchfield or online at Amazon for under $250. Fantastic. I thought I was going to have to have two. I went ahead and wired the back of the, of the room for another sub. So far, no need. The center channel is a CSI A4. This is a $150 speaker for a center channel that basically has the most amazing vocal sounds I've heard. And I've, I've been in a lot of theaters, home theaters that had very high-end equipment. This speaker, let me take off the cage for There you. we go. This speaker provides plenty of vocals. Lots of deep and mid-range tones, and I can't tell you how much it improved my sound system when I had another name brand in here that I was using for a couple weeks. This was one of the best investments I've ever purchased, and it truly helped amplify the sound across this big room. Moving on from the center channel, I was lucky enough to get a pair of these Signature Series Polk S35s. Look those up online. They're anywhere from $200 to $300 a piece. Many people will use these for a center channel, I decided to use them as my left and right. There's so many speakers, they have great audio coils, they have amazing mid-range and bass, and look at that, a magnetic front cover. These speakers rock. They add so much life to the music, to the movies. I can't tell you how much these have improved my home theater. Even though this video is not about the projection system I've decided to put in this theater room, I was on a budget. This Epson 2150 fit my bill. You can get it for as low as $500, most places $795. It's a true HD experience, and let me tell you, this thing does not disappoint. There were much more expensive units I was looking at that were 4K. 
We just didn't have the desire to go to 4K yet. Major kudos to Epson for the 2150. You should check it out. Don't overlook it. That leads me over to my surround sound speakers. My wife had specific desires to have this room be flush mount all the way around. She didn't want big speakers in the room. She wanted it to still look elegant and still be something that's safe for the kids to play in and not have a lot of things knocked over. So the Polk Audio RCI 85 in-wall flush mounts fit the bill. We made sure we painted them the exact colors of the wall. They blend in as well as an in-wall speaker can blend. Let me just tell you, the mids and the bass that come out of this, as well as the highs for the surround, fantastic. You can get these for approximately $150 to $200 a set. And all I needed at this point was four. So really good price. I can't say enough about them. Uh, you can see that I have them in the rears as well. There's one over here. And then I also have, you can't see it, but there's two spots right here for the Atmos speakers. To top things off, we have, of course, the Fandeliers. Those are kind of the cool thing to do in a room right now. You've got a light with LED, you can dim, but you also have fans. We wanted to make sure that everyone in this theater had a really good seat to view the screen. We also wanted to make sure that the speakers were adequate enough to fill the entire room. What I can tell you is that Polk Audio delivered well above my expectations. I never thought I would get this much sound. I always told myself, if I build this theater room, these speakers are going to be a placeholder for something bigger and better. Now that I've been in the room for six months and we've had this room totally complete, I can tell you that these speakers are staying. There is no need for me to upgrade. You really have to check out the quality of these speakers at this price. They're very small, they're flush mount, they're low profile, you can hardly even see that they're on the screen. Polk Audio has hit it out of the park with these speakers. And I don't know if this camera is going to pick up all the sound, but we're gonna do a little bit of a display and have some of the sound up for one of the movies we're gonna play. And I want you to see and hear the quality. I'm telling you, Polk Audio, you have done an excellent job. And if there's any other speakers that I need to add to this room, I can guarantee you it will be a Polk Audio edition. This is going to be the hardest part of the video because I know you're not here to hear the speakers in person, but I wanna give you a little bit of a viewing and somewhat of sound. Alexa, turn on Apple TV. All right, now that we have our choices up on the screen, let's see if we can find something that uh, has some pretty good highs, mids, and lows in it. Let's try Venom. Well, you know, I aim to please. At the end of the day, the reason for this video is to let you know that there are still companies out there that do give you a really big bang for the buck. You know, you, you're marketed to by all these different uh, electronic items that we purchase for day-to-day -day use that are thousands of dollars. And it's rare when you find a product that meets and exceeds your expectations and does it with quality uh, and, and grace and looks great in your room and Polka Audio delivers that. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to keep these speakers in this room. You know, there's a lot of people that this room may not be to their taste, that's okay. Um, it works for our family, it's perfect for what we wanna do and what we use it for, and it's a great space to unwind. And with Polk Audio, we've had the ability to afford other things in this room because we didn't have to spend it all on equipment. So. I want to say thank you very much to the people at Polk Audio and uh, keep making good equipment and I'll keep buying it. Thank you very much and thank you for watching my home theater review of my Polk Audio speakers. You should get out and get you a set right now. They're great.